one. This one is an existing Cat4 device, but this there's no device yet. There's no uh, th this this is a large size uh, lab emulator. It will be uh, the the vendors need to work on the chipset and making it smaller. So this is why we are saying that it may take another uh, in the uh, later in 2014 we may have device of this uh, form factor. Okay, but this is it. So what you are seeing here is. Uh, you know you have uh, four antennas, two antenna for the 2.6, two antenna for the 1.8. We are receiving, we have installed a base station, we have upgraded our base station to LTE Advance in this area and we transmit to those antennas. And we, with LTE Advance, we combine the signal from the two frequency bands together. This is connected to the laptop, which is there, and the laptop is connected to the screen, okay? And the speed that, that we are seeing now that we are done with this large file, as you see, it reached a maximum of 295 uh, megabits per second. There is fluctuation, and fluctuation is completely normal because this is a radio signal, and radio signal, there is interference, there's, like I said, the, even the lights, even people moving, uh, change the radio environment. So this is normal to get this type of fluctuation. Mm -hmm. So this time we will download the uh, 4K uh, the 4K resolution uh, video. Okay, this is a 344 megabyte file, as I mentioned before, for a two minute video playtime. Okay, so Nick, are you ready to download? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, this is over with 16 seconds. If you do the reverse calculation or the reverse engineering, you will see you don't achieve 300 megabit per second because now you're doing an FTP transfer. There's more overhead, there's the server response. So this is over the internet, but this is still significantly faster than whatever you will find now. So now let's look at uh, the quality of the video that we achieve and the improved user experience when you're uh, downloading such a file. You can see the uh, resolution. So this is a high definition television, this is on sale now, but what you have to remember as well is that smartphones are coming with that resolution and now, now it's typical for a smartphone to support 1080p and they are coming with that resolution um, in the next few months, uh, some are already available and uh, in the next few years you can expect like next year that this will be common for a smartphone, for a tablet to have a 4K resolution mm -hmm. and the customers will be looking for this type of a high throughput more and more. For now with this type of device but later next year we hope we can show it later next year. I mean early next year I hope we can show it with a real commercial uh, device when the vendors are ready with those devices. Again this is the, uh, this, uh, the site we have implemented here is our first site implementation. Then we are testing with our vendors and we will be inviting vendor, device, device vendors like uh, Samsung, like uh, uh, ZTE, Huawei, the other ones. And we will be fine-tuning the, uh, the device so that this is ready for a commercial uh, uh, next year.